everyone, I'm Cassie, welcome to my channel, and today I'm here to do kind of a book haul. These are all the books that I'm taking to school with me. Some for the summer, some I'm just gonna, some I'm gonna keep there all, well, until I leave. So I'm gonna start with the ones that I'm just taking for the summer, and that would be the Ugly series by Scott Westerfeld. I read these in middle school. They've been sitting in my bookshelf forever. I never read extras because it wasn't about Tally Young Blood. But I'm gonna try and read it now and, you know, see who it's actually about and what goes on in this person's world. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit less than halfway through the second one right now. I just finished the first one uh, sometime this week. And unfortunately, I was hoping I would finish this one before I leave, but I'm leaving in like 24 hours. And I have a lot to do in the time, so that's not gonna happen. By the time you see this, I will already be in Kansas, because that's, well, I will probably be moving into my apartment while this is going live. So yes. And the next books, as I mentioned before that I want to read this summer, is the Aragon series by Christopher Pollyan. Um, <laughs> I know these have been around for a long time, and I have actually owned both these books for about, I've owned this book for about five years, and I've owned this book for about three years. I've never read them. Actually, I don't even know. This might be the second. This might be the third book. I don't even know if this is the second book or not. I don't know. It's it's book two. I guess it's called the Inheritance series. Um, I watched the movie about a bazillion times. I love the movie, and that's why I want to read the book. But I've never gotten around to it. Hopefully, this summer I'll have enough time because I'm only taking one class. One class, and I don't only really have a job yet. Hopefully, I will find one. But that time, I'm gonna be reading. The next two books I'm taking are Susan Castellanti's books. Um, I have read this one. I think this is actually my third time be reading this book. I finally bought it. Now that I own these two books, I almost I own almost every single book that she's written besides I think her new City Love series. Um, I really like her. Um, in this book, I don't really know much about except I think that the girl follows this guy from her high school that she never really talked to to New York. And I'm taking Delirium. I would like to read this trilogy this summer. I read this one book. I read this book years ago, and I also read Before I Fall. I read Before I Fall, and then I picked this one up right afterwards, and I love them both. I never got around to finishing the series because I got distracted by other things, and it took too long for the next book to come out. So this is also on my reading list this summer. And the next books are the books that I will probably be keeping with me for a while. The first one is my school's classes. I don't know how to describe it, like the school's book of the year that every student entering the school this year has to read. Between the world and me. By some name I don't know. I've literally never heard of this book until I showed up for orientation and they're like, everyone gets a copy of this book and has to read it by the first day class in September. And I was like, okay, it's not very long. It's only about 200 pages, if even that. It's about 150 pages. So hopefully this will only take me about a weekend, maybe like five days to read, depending on how slow it is and if it puts me asleep or not. The next book I have is Jing Song Animorphisms. I don't know how to say that word. Master Jin Yi. Um, the Buddhist nun, someone from her organization came to talk to the school, and he left one of these books, and it was like a contest to get it, contest to get it, and I ended up winning it, and I love it. I just like clip through it every now and then, and just to read a thing, I'll read one to you right now. Green not only brings misery, but also leads the way in moral ruin. I really like it, because it's in Chinese, English, Japanese, and Spanish which is really awesome. It's the tale from the time beginning, which I talked about before. It's about the yeah 2011 tsunami in Japan, and there's the stuff from the tsunami is washing up on shore um, in an island in Canada, and in one of the packages that this family finds, there's a diary by, Yu by Nio Natsuri, um, who tells the story of her grandmother, who is also a Buddhist nun, so I really like Buddhist nun stuff because I am Buddhist. I also have another Japanese story that I got for like, as you can see, a dollar from my school's bookstore store. It's been a long week. Uh, the fact, the fiction and essays of Kido Yeye, yeah, yeah, I have no idea who she is, but as anyone knows, I like Japanese stuff, so I had to buy it, especially since it was only a dollar. Next is a collection of nonfiction and adult books non-YA books um, that will be staying that will be staying at school with me. The first one is Michio Kaku's Einstein Cosmos, but it's signed by Michio Kaku because he came to my school and I met him and I got to sign it and I, I love him so much. And the next is The Good Earth by Pearl S. Buck, which I have also talked about in another book haul. I have started this book. I started it last summer, 
but I kind of got busy and put it down and picked up an easier book to read. Hopefully I will get around to this this year because it is the only book my mother has read twice in her life. She said it's that good, so I have to read it. <laughs> I have to read it soon. And the next book, it's also from another book haul that I've done, and I think most of these books are from a book haul, um, is The Glass Castle which Annette Walls, which is a nonfiction book, and I guess it's about some girl who was like terribly abused in her childhood. Me and my best friend bought a copy of it together at the East Bookstore. She read hers like the week we bought them. And I have been meaning, I meant to pick this book up the last couple times I was home, but the last couple times I've been home, I've been home for not good reasons. <laughs> Finally taking this. And then the last book I got is Cheat Girls in Brooklyn, which I got, or I didn't actually get this from my friend, but my friend was letting to give it to me, but she couldn't find it. So I got this book. I actually don't know anything about this book. I'm trying not to learn anything about this book till I read it because I don't want to know anything about this beautiful classic book that I hear so many good things about. And just, well, basically people just tell me to read it and they're not going to tell me about it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna read this book without really knowing much about what it's about. I haven't even read the blurb on the back or any reviews for it. So yes, these are my gigantic sack of books that I am taking to school. And that's not including my coloring books or any of my knitting guides. So. Also, I'm taking four textbooks. <laughs> So I'm taking my textbooks from my old school to my new school because I'm the same major and so I still need the textbooks. These are going to be fun to carry up and down two flights of stairs. Well, mostly up two flights of stairs. Yep. But I like my books and I like to have, I like to be at least somewhat surrounded by books. So it'll be okay. I will, I will manage it. Okay. That's all for today. I will see you again next Monday. Peace.